I am here again with another canvas tutorial, canvas board, and uh, I still have some left in my house, and I got some from for my birthday, so um, this is what I'm going to do again, and um, it's for wordartwednesday.blogspot.com, and um, well, these videos, most of the videos I've done for um, for my design team um, membership for uh, Word of Wednesday and uh, for this week we have Proverbs 27 verse 9 ointment and perfume rejoice the heart so does the sweetness of a man's friend by hearty counsel and when I saw uh, perfume I thought it would be nice to draw uh, a bit of an old perfume bottle and um, that's what I did and um, well, I think I'm going to cover the canvas with um, some um, dictionary papers and I bought this one at a thrift store and it was maybe 2 euros, I don't know. So it was very cheap for a very big um, dictionary. So I, what I want to do is to have some texture on the background and the texture of the words I like. I, I somehow I think that really matches this um, perfume bottle. So that's what I'm going to do, and I have to let it dry, and then I think I have to go over it with uh, with some gesso, or maybe I'm going over it with uh, some light light color of a paint, or I don't know. But um, that's what I'm going to do. And um, well, I'm curious how it turns out too. So um, stay tuned and you'll see what comes out.
I think it's finished for now and um, you can see all the kinds of textures and I love how the uh, dictionary papers um, are uh, coming through the paint and well I made some mistakes but um, I'm just going over it and I think this this um, orange is a little bit too too well how do you say that in English um, it's just a little bit much too there but it's okay I, th I think it's kind of fun to have some very different color into this and um, I really have to learn about the shadings and where the light comes from and how you put in uh, shadings on things but um, I'm just picking up since a few weeks um, uh, the drawing so um, I've got a, lot, uh, a long way to learn but um, well it's just it's just a learning process and what I did on the edges is I uh, I've written some well scribbly words uh, here is a perfume ointment and heart so um, the scripture from uh, this week is coming back in uh, the borders and um, well what I what I've noticed is that um, uh, when I use my uh, ripped cardboard, um, I oh, well, there's my cat coming to look what I've made. But um, I found out that you can use a glimmer mist on it too, and then just um, put it as like a stamp on your work. And also the rubbers, I didn't want to um, have them really be bold. Wait a minute, my cat is just stealing my cookie. I didn't want it to be that bold on the, on this canvas, so I smudged it a little bit with um, with paint. So that's what I did. And oh, I I've learned that um, on this canvas, when you work with gesso, you can also um, clean away some paint you've used, which are a bit too heavy on your page. But also, when this um, baby uh, wipe is still wet. You can also, as you, maybe you've seen it here, I removed, wait a minute, my cat is really annoying me. <laughs> I have a cookie here because I was hungry, but he is trying to steal it, so I have to put it in my, um, well, my pencil case, so, um, well, that aside, I'm sorry. But what I did is I removed some paint here because um, I painted outside of the lines of this bottle. And then I removed also that uh, first layer of pink, but then I uh, went back with uh, one of the baby wipes, which was colored in uh, purple. Uh, I did some purple here, which was too dark, and then I just applied some on here, so it doesn't really look that um, erased here. So um, that's a cool technique I've learned, so um, maybe you already knew it, but I didn't. Well, before I start rambling on, I just want to thank you for watching and uh, I hope you get inspired to do your own art journaling or your own canvas thingy with, with words or without words or with drawings or just using the techniques for the background and um, I hope to see you next week. Bye!